Hello everybody, this is I'm Press Happy 2. Uh, coming to you with a new video. Um, I've been tagged in a video. But first, I must say thank you to my subscribers. And thank you to my new subscribers that will subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate you. Um, I never meant to get on YouTube to have any followers i never thought i would have some followers on a youtube channel so i'm excited that i have 300 plus um subscribers um hopefully i can get to 500 and then to a thousand um so i'm just kind of coasting through <laughs> so hopefully one day i'll get there so to jump right in this video this video is a tag that I was tagged by Suds What. The video, or rather the tag started with Noble Strength. And this tag is called my top 10 favorite bags. And that was really hard for me because I have so many bags that could, that fall in the range of my favorites. Um, so I have a lot that's packed away. So I kind of just chose the ones that I would quickly be able to grab. So that's what I did. So my top 10 favorite bags you will see um thank you sus for tagging me in this video and i want to say thank you to noble strength for starting this tag here on youtube so thank you both so this first bag it's still in the dust bag um this is one of my crossbodies that i really quickly reach for um, it's called Steve Madden. It's in the color gray with a uh, silver um, silverware hardware on here. And it has a top zipper. This top zipper is pretty deep. Um, this is the top zipper here. And it goes all the way down to uh, about to here. I just love this bag. I mean, this crossbody bag. It's just a quick um, bag. And there I go dropping stuff. Every time I make a video here, I drop stuff. This is the, the quilted uh, lining of the bag. I have her have it stuffed, as you can see. I'll try to go quickly so this video won't be too long. It has a back zipper. This is the um, the tag here for it. This is the main compartment here. This is the belt. The belt. This is the strap. And it has silver hardware, as you can see. This belt. Belt. I keep saying belt. This strap is really um, comfortable to wear. It's adjustable here um i normally keep the about to say belt again strap inside when i'm done um carrying this bag it has two slip pockets here and then there's another pocket here um if you want to put your cell phone in there you can and then there's another slip pocket here so there's one two three the main a back zip pocket and then you have this outer top uh zipper pocket this bag is really comfortable to wear and it holds a lot so that's why i'm quick to reach and grab for this crossbody bag it doesn't have feet or anything um i can't remember where i bought this bag um, it might have been TJ Maxx, maybe. And I just had an extra bag, and I just keep it, keep it in here. 
uh, to keep it um, from getting any uh, marks on it. So that is my first favorite bag. The second one is, and you've all probably uh, seen some of these bags already. Um, the second one would be my Dunium Burke, the satchel, Florentine satchel. This was a pre-love purchase, uh, I think off of eBay. Um, I just actually got done carrying her probably two weeks ago now, two or three weeks ago. I keep the tassels covered up so they won't be flyaways. Um, she is kind of two-tone. I didn't care really when I purchased it, although I didn't notice the one strap. But everything else I was pretty much okay with. It did not come with a shoulder strap, which was fine because I have some other straps that I can use with it. Um, it has four feet. Although the MK straps I tried to carry with this bag and is, they are not comfortable. Some of those straps I'm not too fond of because they are too slip, too slippery and it don't stay on your shoulder. So, yeah. So eventually maybe I'll find a strap to go with this or if I order another bag, uh, buy another bag in this, I think this is supposed to be denim. Maybe I'll get a strap. But this is my second favorite uh, bag. And I have several other satchels um, in this style. So the satchel is my favorite, one of my favorite styles of Dooney. The third style is, it's going to be um, my fossil. My Rachel Fossil. I purchased this on the secondhand market as well. Um, this leather is so squishy, as you can see. I just love the leather on this bag. It doesn't look like it's a good size bag, but it really is. It has a pocket here that you can put your cell phone. And the best thing about this fossil rachel the zipper goes all the way down here all the way down on both sides and it's a double zipper the mouth this is how wide the mouth opens up this is what she looks like on the inside she comes with a strap um the strap is kind of thin but pretty much it's comfortable she has a zipper pocket as well, and there's the tag. The inside is a gray color. She has a, a slip pocket here. This purse is really comfortable to wear. I wish I had her in another color. Uh, maybe later on I'll be able to get another color. Try another color, but this bag is so... I mean, look how soft the leather is. I'm glad I bought this pre-loved because it came with no problem, no smell. It's just really nice. It's comfortable to carry by the strap. I mean, the handles. Um, here's the rings for the shoulder strap. So, yeah, this is a really comfortable bag. And that's why it is a part of my top favorite bag I love the double zipper and the wide open mouth that it has and this is the fossil uh, Rachel bag and it's in I think like light blue light blue and she does not have feet the next bag is you've seen this bag before on my channel and this definitely is one of my top 10 favorite bags. It's hard for me to move out of her once I move in. This is my MCM Vestos, Medium Vestos um, Drawstring Tote Bag in the color Rose Gold. 
I still have the plastic on my plate. <laughs> have not taken it off. Uh, this bag, you've seen this before. It has the standard uh, the black and white inside. It's reversible. Um, the handles are, I think, 10 inch handles. The handles are really comfortable. And this is just a uh, makeup cosmetic that I got in the free um, FabFitFun subscription box that I used to get. So that came in there and it matches this bag. So I'll just keep it in here. And it also came with the little shoulder bag, which I adore. It's so cute. This rose gold is so... I just love this rose gold. Um, I have not seen it anymore. This here is my wallet. The box of my wallet that I got to match with it. It came in a dust bag as well. And this is what the wallet looks like. Even though we're not talking about wallets. But this is the wallet, matching wallet that I got to go with my MCM. This this Vesto's uh, medium tote in the color rose gold. So that's my wallet to go with it. This is definitely one of my favorite bags to carry, for sure. It's comfortable, really comfortable. I just have to buy some more in other colors, like uh, Mono's Beauty. I need her collection <laughs> in these bags. Uh, pretty soon I'll be trying to collect these bags here in the other colors. Um, since I have enough um, duty bags right now, I can get some other brands, other brand of bags uh, that I really like that's comfortable. So that is number one two three four so you have seen four of my top 10 bags so the next one is this is an oldie but goodie the next one is my dunia bark pebbled i think it's the hobo bag this was a gift from my husband some years ago now <laughs> um she does have feet this is one of my favorites because the leather is squishy now. It's so soft and squishy. Um, I love the handle, the strap on this bag. It's adjustable, easy to adjust, which I love. Um, you can also adjust it here as well, but I've never adjusted it. I keep the cover on the tassel so it doesn't get uh, strayed. And, oh yeah. She does have a zipper pocket on the back. I don't recall what the name of this Dooney Burke bag is. I know it's in the Hobo family. Um, I have her stuffed, as you can see. And she has a the zipper pocket as well back here. And there's the tag and another slip pocket here. Um, it only has, it has two, um, pockets over here, the, uh, snap pocket and then another slip pocket. I don't think I have the card in here, um, seeing that I've had this for a long time, it's not in here, but I'm sure I have it in my little box that I keep my cards in, but this is one of my favorites here, this is a favorite. She's broken in finally, and the leather is so soft and squishy. I just keep her um, stuff for whenever I use her. And this is number five. One, two, three, four. This is number five of my top ten favorite bags. And she has feet. <laughs> Even better, right? And so the next bag. Oh no! Oh. Okay, 
Sorry, guys. I just dropped my knocked over my iPad. And of course, I don't know how to edit that. So I'm truly sorry. Um, and let me pick up this bag because I just dropped it. So the next bag, I'm so sorry. I don't know how to edit, so you have to see my little um, accident in my video. So I'm truly sorry. So the next number six bag is, of course, no other than the Marc Jacobs tote bag. This right here, let me tell you, this right here, this right here, this bag is. This is probably the best bag. Um, I'm not going to take her all the way. Well, I guess I could. I'll just take this down. This is my Argon Oil Small Marc Jacobs Tote. Leather Tote. I tell you, I love this bag. This is in my definitely in my top 10. Um... I'm not even going to stuff it because you've seen this on YouTube. I'm sure a dozen of the, <coughs> excuse me, a dozen of times. Um, it does come with a strap as well. The strap is pretty comfortable. Um, really long strap and it's adjustable. So I won't spend too much time on this, but this is my number six. Uh, favorite top 10 bags. Marc Jacobs. The small. Argon oil. Uh, colored tote. My favorite. The next one. Well, I won't give it away. I'm still. I figured out what red. Um, bag that I will be ordering. I finally figured that out. Um, I was trying to think of what red bag I wanted to replace the Olivia bag that I had uh, of the mishap so yeah so I'll be sharing that whenever I get that so the next bag number one two three four five six number seven the next bag is my Louis Vuitton so I'm showing you guys a variety of different brand of bags that is in my top 10 picks. So this is my Louis Vuitton, my Speedy 30. This was a graduation gift to myself after graduating, uh, getting my four year degree, undergraduate degree. Um, this is her here. She does not have feet, and I know you have seen this bag a gazillion times as well. Uh, my Speedy 30 um, is the year was made 2013 of January, and I figured that out with the code on the inside. It has you can you know this is an older model because style because of the pocket. I think they make them now with a zipper pocket. So this is like a slip pocket here. I can get my hands it's like a slip pocket. And the uh, code is right here. It did come with a lock and key. However, I do have the key and I put the lock on here. I don't know why I put the lock on here, but I did. Uh, but I do have the key for it, so I can take it off anytime. Um, I don't use it a whole lot. As you can see, the handles have a little oil stains from my hands because I use so much lotion. And this bag was made in... Where's the tag? It was made in Paris, France. That's where this little baton was made. So yeah, this is my Speedy 30. This is in my top 10 favorite bags right now. 
and we're gonna go to the next one. I almost got the Speedy 35, but that one was way too big. <laughs> it was too big. So I just went ahead and got the Speedy 30. Um, this is a wonderful bag. Wonderful bag. And if you can buy a liner that goes inside of it at the bottom to keep the shape, um, that's a good choice to do that as well. That's what I have been in um, that bag there, a liner um, in it. And then my next bag, number nine, or rather number eight, is another Louis Vuitton, which is my favorite as well. This here is my Louis Vuitton DeVille. Um, this bag was made in December of 2004. This one was bought pre love. Um, it came with the the lock. However, she deleted that lock from it. Didn't have the key, so I can't lock it unless I I would have to get another key made by uh, Louis Vuitton. And this this uh, travel tag here was bought pre love as well. Bought this on found this on eBay. Um, I thought it would match this because of the um how the leather has um now i can't think of that the name um the leather looks the same as the trimming that honey colored although she does have water spots as you can see there's water spots all right here and i think like an oil spot but i didn't mind that the leather has um darken up some since i've had her the handles are still in good condition everything on it is really in good condition the corners and everything um i'm really fascinated with the inside of this bag fell in love with this bag because the inside is wipeable you can wipe this it's like canvas just wipe it out of some of the spills in here it has a po two pockets here. It also has two pockets here. Here's the Louis Vuitton uh, tag and the date code. The code is underneath here. It comes with these um, stretchy bands down here. If you want to put like a water bottle, any type of bottles or what have you. And this bag was actually made for... Um, uh, stylus makeup stylus to put their makeup in here, so that's why it has this type of um, material on the inside. Um, cosmetic stylus use this bag, that's what this was made for, um, which is what I read about it, and I thought that was really neat. Plus, if I spill something, I would be able to wipe it out. So I pretty much fell in love with this bag when I first saw it. When I first seen it, rather. Sorry. So, oh, and it has a pocket here. This is the outside pocket. Um, there's no pocket on the back. As you can see, I have water spots back here. This is just overall nice bag. It's not real heavy. Um, it, plus, it holds a lot. Again, this is the Louis Vuitton DeVille. I think it comes in a smaller size as well. Um, but this is one that I wanted. So, this is the one that I got. So, this is bag number eight. So, I hope you like my little top ten bags that I am showing. Even though I'm showing different brands, which is okay. We all carry, have different brands of bags. So, I do have probably majority more of Dooney & Bark, of course. Because that's my favorite brand overall. So, I keep forgetting to put the paper back in these bags. I'm trying to do that as I go. So, I won't have to do it... Uh, 
when I put all these bags back in my closet. I wish I could have pulled out other ones that are my favorite as well, but I would have to like dig too low in my corner purse cave is what I call it um, to show you guys. So the next purse is number nine. This purse here, you can carry this as a work bag or a purse. Currently, I am using this as a work bag. This is Tory Burch. Um, I forget the name of this. Um, Tory Burch. It has a snap closure, magnetic closure piece here. Let's see if I have the card or something down here. Um, no, I do, I think. Um, yeah, here it is. Here is the tag. I don't know if it's set. And it don't say it on here great. This is the tag that came on it when I got it. Um, can't believe I don't have the other uh, piece of information. I don't. So, so anyway, this is the Tory, per Tory Birch. Sorry. Tote bag. Um, it has... It's trimmed in leather, doesn't have any feet. Has the leather on the corners. Leather straps are 10 inches, I believe, nine and a half or 10 inches. It's easy on my shoulders, comfortable on my shoulders, so it's gotta be a pretty good, decent size. It has a front snap pocket here that you can put your cell phone in or keys or what have you. But this is my top, one of my top uh, favorites as well. And it's in canvas, so it's wipeable too. And the inside is wipeable. Uh, so if you're looking into Tory Burch, you might want to check these bags out too. It has a slot for if you want to put your uh, computer or iPad or something. It has a back zipper pocket. And pretty much that's it. It has snap, uh, snap size size so the bag you can expand it and you'll have more space and it just snaps back <laughs> but yeah you have more space <clears throat> if you want to leave it unsnapped so I'm trying to hurry up so the next bag is and it's the most current bag that I've just started carrying and she definitely is in my top 10 favorites because I just love this bag because I love the colors. No other than my Brahmin Duxbury in tropical style colors um, satchel. I think I showed this already when I showed the unboxing of it, I believe. This is a little fur ball that I pair with it and the little charm that came with it she does have feet and there is a back pocket here that my phone can fit in uh, this is a beautiful bag I've gotten a lot of compliments on it from men and women this is how it looks on the inside zipper pockets and slip pockets I have my lip gloss lipsticks Lotion and hand sanitizer, thanks to Mo Nose Beauty. Um, I did purchase two of these, Mo. <laughs> this one is in, uh, I don't know what this one is in. Oh, watermelon, wild watermelon. And then the other one I got, I can't remember, but it's, um, I think yellow or orange looking color. Um, so I do like those hand sanitizers thanks to uh, Mono Beauty. Mo Nose Beauty. This is a strap. I just love it in the bag because I haven't been using it. In case I need it, it'll be there. And let's see. That's pretty much it. This is number 10 of my favorite uh, bags. Of my top 10 favorite bags. 
Um, <clears throat> this video is like 30 minutes already, you guys. And I've never had a video that's 30 minutes. It's probably going to take forever to upload. So anyway, I just wanted to come and do my uh, tag by Suds Lux and the Originator Noble Strength. Thanks for um, tagging me, Suds Lux. Hope you guys enjoyed this long video. Sorry again. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video. If you like this video and love it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up when you go out. Before you go out, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I don't mind. I welcome everyone to subscribe to my channel. Positive subscribers. Anyway, thank you guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.